Yep, you betcha, KJ. It's going to get real cold. It's going to get windy out there. Now, I got a great group of kids with me, and these are, you guys are from what school? Severian. Severian in uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. And wait, now, some, you are not part of this crowd. You're on your own. Where are you? What, what high school do you go to? I go to LaGuardia. LaGuardia? So that's like the fame school, right? Yeah. So, like, are you guys just like okay. singing in the streets all, all the time? Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, you know, speaking of singing, let's go this way, guys. I want to show you a little something because check this out, guys. They are caroling right now in Columbus Circle. This is the West Side Y Community Arts Program. Give it a little listen here. Oh, it looks like we have Mrs. Claus up there as well, looking good. All right, guys, let's get right to the weather, show you what we can expect because it's all about the cold air. Right now, it is 39 degrees outside. The almanac will show us you hit a high temperature of 42, just about typical for this time of the year. But boy, this is the last we're going to see the 40s for at least a couple of days around here. The radar picture a few clouds right now making their way through our area. But as far as precipitation, maybe a little snow, snow squall here or there tonight. The bigger picture shows you there is a pretty vigorous front that's going to move through the area. Now, fronts separate air masses, and there is as cold as it is right now, it's much colder on the other side of this front, and the winds kick in big time. There is a, a wind advisory for tomorrow during your day, and look at this, a high wind watch already in effect for tomorrow night until about midnight, and it will probably get extended into Friday as well. I, I think Friday morning could be the coldest period of all. I, we're talking wind chills on Friday morning in the negative digits for a good chunk of the area, and even if you're not dealing with a feels-like temperature of a negative number on Friday morning, maybe you feel like zero, the goose egg in New York City. The future cast will show you what you're, what you're going to deal with for precipitation chances. And tonight, 2 o'clock in the morning, there's that snow squall chance, but ironically this time it's south of New York City. I think Ocean County, you can see a little snow squall tonight. And then you get into your day tomorrow. Stop it any time you want. The computer model will show at least the possibility of a snow squall for anyone. But the bigger event is going to take place Friday night into Saturday. Saturday morning, and that's where we see some bigger snow, more widespread, but it's all going to turn to rain. I'm very confident of that because it's going to get much warmer out there by the time you get to Sunday. How much snow are we talking about? The potential is there for a half a foot, areas north and west of the city. The city itself, you know, maybe it's an inch or so, uh, but I think you could probably pick up more than that. That's a computer model. I think it's more than an inch, and then it turns to rain. It gets all washed away anyway. Here's how I see everything working out. Thursday, 27 degrees. It's all about those winds. Friday, 25, still dealing with the winds. Friday night into Saturday, that's the next snow chance. It's going to be snow to rain. You're 42 for high on Saturday. And then look at Sunday. Right now, I'm going 55. Some computer models are even saying warmer than that for Sunday, but it's only a day, one day, because you're back to a around the freezing mark by the time you get to Monday. So guys, we're here with some carolers. You guys sound beautiful out there. Happy holidays, everybody. Back to you in the studio.